Hi everyone, today I am going to show you what I've been doing with my orchids. I've been messing around with trying to clone them. So I'm using cloning paste, kiki paste, whatever you want to call it, cakey paste, I don't know how you pronounce it. But um, I've been applying this to my orchids and I'll show you what I did. I mean, I just am doing what I was shown to do with it and if it's different than somebody else does, whatever. Um, this is what I do, and I'm actually getting good results from this. So I'm going to show you right here. I have one of my Phalaenopsis, and you can see, I hope you can see, that that right there, I don't know if it's in focus, I hope so, is a baby orchid plant, a kiki. Isn't that cool? I mean, I, I'm shocked. It's working. This one looks like it's gonna be another plant sometimes you get plants sometimes a baby plant and sometimes you'll get a flower spike instead of a plant but whichever this both are pretty cool so um but i'm getting a baby plant there that is so cool i hope you can see this it's kind of my i have a really cruddy camera sorry but that's cool. And I'm going to show you on this one where I, ha I haven't touched this. It's got nice, fresh buds. So, and that's what I look for. I don't see like this is dried up here. If you can see that, I'm not sure. Um, right here, it's got the sheath is kind of dry on it. I haven't used any sheaths that look like that, that are looking like they're drying up. I peel back the sheath very carefully with my fingernail and apply the kiki paste to the bud that's underneath but I like to use a greener fresher one like this I just feel like I'll probably have a better chance but you can see here there's another little growth spot I did it on two places on about every single one. This one, I obviously did it three places because <laughs> this here. I can't tell, but I'm hoping that's going to be another baby plant. Ooh, sticky. And right here, I can't tell yet. It's too small still. I hope you can see that right where my thumbnail is. I can't see in this camera. Okay. And it's got a new leaf. But that's what I've been doing and it it's working it's really cool so let me see if I can get it and this one over here right here this one has like three growth points coming out of one clump of growth it's weird it's the only one that's turning out like this let me see if I can get it and I have <laughs> all my plants down here in my office because it's really cold outside, so I didn't want to take the orchids outside where it's lighter. And uh, I have this tablecloth here. This is what I do to take pictures of antiques so you don't see my messy office. So, but oh, let me see if I can get this in front of the camera. Oops, this is a very tippy plant here. Let me see if I can adjust this. Hang on a minute. Oops, wrong way. Oh, that's as good as it's hard to see right here there is three little growing points on that one clump of growth it is so strange and I can't I mean it looks like it's gonna be a plant because it looks like it's got little separate leaf sections on there but it's growing totally different than this one that's formed like a perfect little baby plant it's pretty cool <laughs> i don't know what's gonna happen i just did it and then i've left them alone in a nice humid area upstairs in the grow room just to you know let them do what they're gonna do and that is just really cool and this one's got it a little spot here right there and this one over here is my favorite orchid this is the one I've had the longest it's still got some flower spikes on it but I put cloning paste on it anyway and it 
is getting a little bit of growth. Oh, that's heavy. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it. There's, there's two little spots. There's one there, and then there's one right here. And I just wanted to clone this one because this is my favorite. Look at how pretty that is. It's like a greenish yellow with pink, the pink lip. Oops. Too many orchids piled up here. And some of them are just, they're, they're growing uh, something. Oops. They're growing, I don't know, spikes or baby plants, but they're too small to tell. All right. So I'm going to move some of these so I can show you how I did it on this plant here that I haven't touched yet. It's got a new spike. It's growing nicely. And we're going to peel back one of these sheaths. That looks like a nice plump one right there. But I'll do it in two spots. And then wait like a month. It takes a little while. They grow real slow. And see what happens. And so I have cakey paste here. It's just this goo. And you get a Q-tip to apply it with. And this I got on eBay. I think it cost like $8.99 for this little container, but it does a lot of orchids. I mean, really, it seems like expensive for just a small amount, but if you can multiply, you're going to make an exact clone of the mother plant with this, if you can get it to work. <laughs> but uh, like I said, I it's working, so I'd say it was worth the $8.50 or $8.99, whatever I paid. So I'm going to do this one here and I, let me see if I can get a little closer with this. It might get blurry though. All right. That looks pretty good. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So hopefully I don't mess this up. I just gently, and you can use a tweezers to do this too if you feel better, but I just feel like I can feel it better with my fingernail. And I know my finger's in the way, but I just kind of get a hold of the very edge of it gently because you don't want to damage that bud underneath there. And try and get a hold of it, which is the easiest thing in the world to do. Ripped the edge of the sheath ripped. Hmm. And peel it down. Hopefully I didn't damage that bud. I'm going to do another one too. You just got to make sure that you don't damage what's underneath the sheath. Otherwise, I mean, maybe that's what I did with that one and it's turning out all funky. I'm not sure, but you just got to be careful. And then you take your paste, put a little bit on there, and then you just apply it. This is how I was shown to do it. So like I said, if you have a better way of doing it, go for it and just apply it to the bud all over it. And as it grows, it will disappear. And see, this one's clean. It's not there anymore. This, see, it's fully covered. I'll try to do another one. I can do a better job on this one. a nice plump little bud under there. Okay. Uh, make sure I got all this sheath off. There we go. There's just a tiny little bud under there. I'm going to use the other side. Not that I, I... I don't know if it makes a difference, you know, touching from one bud to the other. So I always use the a, a clean Q-tip for the next bud. 
don't know if it makes a difference or not, but that's what I'm doing. And just apply Kiki paste so it covers it nicely. And it's pretty much waterproof, the way you're doing. You're covering it up nicely, and that way when you're misting them or whatever, and the water's going to get in there, it's covered with the hormone that's going to make the split the cells split and create an exact duplicate of this plant hopefully so that's it I mean it's that simple this this type of cloning is simple there's other types of cloning that <laughs> they do in laboratories that is much probably works way better but I don't have the type of environment for that so this is what I'm doing it's fun I mean I just I'm amazed that it's working. I really didn't expect it to work, I guess. I don't know. And this one, besides the new flower spike, it's got this big new leaf here. Look at how nice that looks. But everything's growing good. And I will keep you updated on how the little clones are doing. So happy with this. So glad that's working. And you should try it. I mean, it's just like the coolest thing. I mean, you make your own new little orchid. When this gets big enough, it will start to... I hope I'm, I'm not in camera. Sorry about that. Let me back this up. There we go. When that little plant there starts to get bigger, it will develop roots. They'll start to hang down. When you get enough roots, then you can detach it from the mother plant and put it in its own pot. It's so cool. So for eight, nine dollars, you can make a whole bunch of new baby orchids from your plants that you have. It's, I mean, and it does work supposedly on cattleyas and um, I think you can do it on dendrobiums, but I haven't figured out exactly how to get that to work yet. This is the easiest one, the Phalaenopsis. And uh, you should try it. It's fun. I'm going to try and get it to work on my cat. Yeah, but as of yet, it is not working. I applied some and it didn't do anything. Not sure if I, maybe I applied it to the wrong place. I'm not sure. But the uh, next video I'm due is going to be repotting the catlia I have because it actually fell off the counter and it didn't break luckily because it's got like three big new growth spike I don't know what you call them on there they're like a whole new plant it's growing in three different spots on the plant so it looks really good and then it got knocked off the counter by the cat and the uh, deteriorated mixture that it was in like this pot it was in one of the clay pots it just kind of went everywhere and so now I have to repot it so that'll be my next video and I hope you found this interesting if you did don't forget to subscribe and like the video and I'm gonna keep you posted on what's going on with these new baby orchids thanks for watching bye